thanks for joining us. And today we're going to talk about is poor posture affecting your Kriya Yoga? So Kriya Yoga, usually when we talk about posture in Kriya Yoga, we are referring to something called asana. And asana means pose or posture. And in the Kriya Yoga community, there are a variety of approaches for sitting in your meditation posture. Now, the most rigorous of these is Padmasana, uh, which is the lotus pose. So you're interlacing your um, legs together in a very pretzel-like um, position. And certainly there, um, Lahiri Baba was, uh, this is a favorite position of his. And if you've seen the picture of him, he's actually sitting in Padmasana uh, in his meditation practice. And the advantage of Padmasana for those who are limber enough to adopt it is that it keeps you in a very stable position. The disadvantage is that your limbs tend to fall asleep, your legs specifically. Um, and so it can be challenging for folks getting into it and maintaining it for long periods of time. Now, if one is sitting for a long period of time doing Kriya Yoga, one needs to be comfortable. You don't want your limbs falling asleep. You don't want to be having to shift your position constantly, right? Because that disturbs your internalization, the pratyahara, right? Inside, you're going inside. So you want to be sitting in a comfortable position because you might be there for quite a while. Now, the essence of any meditation sitting position is good posture. Now, some uh, schools uh, advocate for pulling the shoulders back and pulling the elbows back and sitting in what they call the bow, right? So it's creating a, a round, a, uh, an arch in the lower back, drawing the arms back, drawing the shoulders back, and that kind of thing to put them in this very kind of rigid position. And the idea is that one is then straightening the spine. But it's not straightening the spine that you want. It's you want a neutral spine, a comfortable position. And so if you're sitting like this and arching your back, what ends up happening, and you create this arch in your lower back, what ends up happening is the, um, the muscles that are along your spine end up doing a lot of work to hold that unnatural position. Your spine is not in a neutral position anymore, it is in an arch like this. And the arch puts a lot of stress on the erector spinae, the, the muscles that run along the spine, and holding that position in rigid is actually um, stimulating your sympathetic nervous system rather than your parasympathetic nervous system. And when you stimulate your sympathetic nervous system, you're going to be coming out of meditation. You will become uncomfortable. You will not get the internalization, the pratyahara, because you are holding yourself in a rigid, uncomfortable, unnatural position. And so the trick in any meditation posture is to have a neutral spine alignment. Now our spine is an S curve, it is not straight line, right? So we have a curvature in our neck, which is natural, right? This natural concavity. And then our upper back um, goes the reverse version. And then down in the lumbar, you have this S curve again. You wanna have a neutral spine. You, don't, you can't be sitting bolt straight. So you may find that the meditation posture that you've taken the way that you're holding the position is creating tension within you. And so if you draw your shoulder blades back and arch your back, what ends up happening is you put stress on the back of your neck and your head will start to lean forward like this. So you see sometimes people in meditation like this, right? And then they tilt their head upwards, right? Because they're looking up at the spiritual eye. But it creates a lot of strain on the back. And this is not what you want at all. You want the neutral spine. So if, you, if you're having challenges in your meditation posture and you're finding you're uncomfortable, you have to keep shifting position all the time, you want to look basically from the bottom up. So the hips, right? Look at the hips first. If your knees are higher than your hips, there's a tendency to round your lower back, right? Because it just happens naturally. That's what happens when the spine is put in that position with the knees higher or level than the hips. And so you're, you start to round your back. And so to compensate, people start to do a hyperlordosis, the lower back arch, right? To try and fix that. 
but it doesn't help because you're actually, uh, because your, your limbs are in an unnatural position. So you're trying to compensate by arching your back and you put a lot of strain to those muscles, the erector spinae on either side of the lumbar vertebrae to hold that position. So the first thing that you can do to fix your meditation posture is to sit in a position with your knees lower than your hips. Now that can be a chair, right? That's basically what a chair is. It allows us to do that. So that is a way where you can start to neutralize your lower spine, right? The lumbar spine area is to sit in a position where your knees are lower than your hips. Now, the second thing is to look at the lumbar area, right? And the sacrum area. There are some Korea schools that advocate you sitting in a chair, but not leaning on the back of the chair. And they will sit with their body about, you know, two or three inches away from the chair and hold this rigid position right with their shoulders drawn back and they're still having that arch in their lower back and the erector spinae in the lumbar region are firing like mad to hold the position this is not practical what you can do if you're sitting in a chair is take a pillow and roll it up right roll it place it behind your sacrum and what that will do then is it's going to put your sacrum and your lower back in a neutral position and give a little bit of back support on your sacrum right and so that will give you a little bit of support now you don't want to be leaning with the upper back on the chair right because when you breathe your rib cage is expanding right and so you don't want to be pushing into the chair as your rib cage is expanding you want to be sitting away from the chair right so the rolled up pillow and your sacrum will help to give you some kind of neutral spine alignment and allow you to breathe in a natural way so at Modern Korea, our website, modernkorea.com, we're informed by Taoist internal alchemy approach. And Taoist Qigong, or skill with qi, is something that we practice. And there is a particular way of creating a very effective neutral spinal alignment. And these practices are reflected in Tai Chi principles, right? So Tai Chi principles very much embodies this neutral spinal alignment. And what they say is to drop the tailbone, meaning that you're doing a slight pelvic tilt, right? So your, your, your pelvis, instead of being um, leaning backwards or tilting backwards, which creates a arch in your lower back, is that you rotate it forward slightly. So they say drop the tailbone. The other thing that they say is sink the chest, right? So there's a tendency in meditation circles for people to do this, right? So that opening up their chest like this and create this unnatural arch in their lower back and their upper chest. What they say is that when you drop the tailbone, you're shifting your weight um, towards your heels if you were standing. And that's dropping the tailbone and then sinking the chest means that from pushing the chest out, it's just a gentle sinking. And what that means then is that you're not lifting up your shoulders because you're relaxed. You've dropped your chest slightly. It creates this neutral feeling and you will notice that you, when you drop the chest slightly, your chin will align, right? Instead of being like this, it will tuck in slightly and will start to align. And you're starting to get this neutral spine that runs from the top of your head. If there was a line to run all the way through, right? A plumb bomb, if you will, that was running from the top of your head, it will basically run through and touch your spine at these different points, right? So, and then they say, lift the head. Imagine that there is a string, a thread on the top of your head and it is pulling your head up. So you're dropping the tailbone, sinking the chest, and then pulling up the head. And this creates this neutral spinal alignment, which means that your spinal structure helps support your posture. And when you do this in meditation, you can sit for a really, really long time because you're getting proper circulation, right? You're not straining muscles, tendons, and ligaments, right? And you're very, you're like, this is the way that your body is designed is to sit there and you're very centered, right? And then you can begin your practices and your spine will move as you're doing your Kriya Yoga. You're inhaling and exhaling and your spine will move naturally. It will sway like a tree in the wind, right? So the young sapling can handle the wind, but the old tree that is rigid and won't move is what gets snapped, right, by the wind. So it's the same kind of thing. You find yourself in the neutral alignment right and then you're sitting in a very comfortable position and then you can sit for a very long time you aren't getting signals from your nervous system saying hey this is like too much stress on us right this is an uncomfortable unnatural position you need to adjust right 
And when you sit with a neutral spinal alignment, you will find yourself getting into meditation very quickly. And you will find yourself not being distracted in meditation because you're sitting in a very comfortable position, right? You can get into Prachahara, you can go into deeper states, right? You can go into Dharana, this sort of um, concentration, and you can go into Dhyana absorption and then move into Samadhi because you're sitting in a very calm, comfortable position, right? So if you have learned to pull your, you know, your elbows back and your shoulders back and that kind of thing and create that bow, that unnatural position, or if you've been sitting in uh, Padmasana and having to create sort of a similar situation to hold yourself up and you're doing all this muscular tension, it's going to draw you out of meditation. Your posture is sabotaging your efforts in Kriya Yoga. If you want a neutral spinal alignment that will allow you to meditate very effectively in Kriya Yoga, remember those three points. Drop the tailbone, sink the chest, and lift the head. That will put you into a perfect position for meditation. So if you have any questions about this video, feel free to send me an email at info at modernkriya.com. Also check our website at modernkriya.com and our YouTube channel. So thanks for joining us and we will see you next time.